cold air makes its way across the UK, bringing snow showers and also some icy stretches. And we have a number of yellow warnings on the Met Office website right the way through the week. For example, a combined snow and ice warning across many parts of the UK. And you can find more details about that and the latest forecast on the Met Office website. And the reason for all this cold weather, well, we've got a cold front sitting across the southeast of the UK, and as we head through today, that'll move its way into the near continent, allowing this cold air from the north to stream right across the UK. And by the time we get through to today and into Wednesday, we'll see temperatures below average. Added to that, a strong wind, it'll feel pretty raw at times as well. So this morning, we've seen that cold front across the UK gradually making its way, clearing, I think, about the mid of the morning, really, allowing some clearer spells here. But we've got those wintry showers across many northwestern parts of the UK, bringing in some pretty significant uh, accumulations across parts of northwest Scotland and Northern Ireland. Also, some snow across parts of the Pennines and down through the hills and mountains of Wales as well. It'll be a cold day, much colder than it was yesterday, with uh, temperatures only getting up to around about 3 or 4 degrees across many northern parts of the UK. Even across the south, there'll be a distinct chill in the air, and with the strength of those winds, I think it'll feel pretty raw. Now, for the rest of today, we uh, see those showers continuing across uh, many parts of the UK, even falling as sleet and snow to low levels across parts of uh, South Wales and Southwest England as we head through the evening time. But most places seeing some wintry showers, apart from perhaps some eastern parts of the UK, should get away with some slightly drier conditions. And as we head through into Wednesday, there'll be some icy stretches again first thing from those wintry showers, but, some, but eastern parts of the UK should actually see some pretty decent spells of sunshine for a time. But we have a deepening area of low pressure out to the Atlantic. That'll swing its way through as we head through the afternoon, bringing some pretty strong winds and some persistent rain. So for most places, it'll turn very wet and very windy later on. Bye for now.